Come on. Tell everybody to fuck me. Ah. Okay. Do me a favor. Quick, laugh, laugh. Did you hear that? Thank you. Give my hand. Thank you. Come see. Did you see that? He laughed. And who all laughed? How come? It's catchy. Come on. It's catchy. It's catchy. It's contagious. Okay, help. The thing of the body. I mean, he did something, and what did you do? You followed along with it. I'm telling you, it's attitude. Before you get that resume, before you hit the pen, before you make the phone call, before you get online, which I have no idea what, what's going on here with this. It's not connecting. But maybe I'll flip it around, and hopefully you can see it. But at any rate, before you move forward, before you get your foot to the next job, attitude. It's all about attitude. Once you have that, then you can move forward. In fact, I have another idea for you. Actually, I wanted to tell you real quickly about a, uh, a situation I had when I was a teenager and I was looking for a job for my first time. And I was really like I was feeling intimidated and overwhelmed by the job judge. What to say, how to present myself. Well, they hit me. I came off very meekly and shy and so on. Do I seem shy to you? No. <laughs> but way back when. Okay. So I go in for a job interview and I'm like, I'm petrified, I'm mortified. And I'm sitting there and the recruiter has the glass of half on it known and looking down all the time asking me questions. Now remember, I can't hear and I need delivery too. So I'm looking down and everything else and I really couldn't answer the question. He looked at me like he was very annoyed. Didn't you hear my question? And I go, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I was just him again. And I said, well, you know, I can't hear. And I need to look at you. He was like, his whole personality changed. He couldn't believe. He had no idea. Because I don't look like I'm that. Look at me. What did that person look like? So you see, that's the whole thing. It was the first time I learned about self-advocacy. I saw for myself, which I'd never done before. And I tell you, hey, here's my situation. This is what I have. And I'm hoping to work with you on this. I never did that before. And once I got over the hump, realized, hey, you're not going to get killed by doing that. You're not going to lose by doing that. And if you don't, it's not your problem. They, you don't want them if they don't want you. So what happened? I finally got to stand up for myself. That's what you need to do. That's the point of the story. You find something that you have to connect with the end point of. Find your connection. And in fact, I'm going to give you another thing. You need to know. Everybody has this. We all have a disease. It's called the USP. Okay. What's another word for sexual that begins with a letter U? Unique. Unique. If I'm buying something from you, what are you giving to me? If I buy from you, then you two for two, you get an A. <laughs> At the tip of a pen, pencil, or marker called A, come on. He picked you up. Okay. <laughs> you have a unique selling point. Each one of you is unique. There's no one like you. No one. No one has your heart. No one has your love, no one has your mind, no one has your personality, no one has your eyes, no one has your voice, not like mine. There's no one like you. You're unique. Take advantage of it. Now all you gotta do is find a connection with the recruiter. That the recruiter can't, he can't bear to have you leave. He needs you. You have picked unique selling point. It's a real world. It's a jargon. It's the word they use in New York City, Madison Avenue, Fifth Avenue, and Avatar. Let me give you an idea. Drinker, TV drinker. Where does it come from? Have it go away. Burger King. Who? Burger King. Burger King. Did you know that? Burger King. How about this? It's the real thing. Coke. Coca Cola. How much TV do you watch? Too much. Okay. <laughs> How about. How about. If you want to see a green frog, 
When a truck goes by, and it likes to talk onto the truck, go flying. What come out of it, Dan? Bob Wiper. What if the green pocket frog had to be with Bob Wiper would be? Nothing. But you know it. That's the human being. The unique telling tone. It's something that you identify with. It's unique. You all remember the ATT logo. What the ATT logo look like? The ball, blue and white. Amazing. Now, what if your USP, what if your local, how are people going to remember you? When you walk out the door and on the recruit, you're going to leave an impression on me. Yeah? And how do you do that? What is your unique selling point? Now, I don't know your unique name, because I don't know you. I have your mother, your, your father, your parents, your friends. Your husband, your wife, your children, your brother, anything, ask anybody. You say, what do you need about me? And if you say, I'm hardworking, that's great, but we're all hardworking. If you say, I'm friendly, of course you're friendly, we all are. If you say, I'm dependable, of course you're dependable, we're all dependable. That's not unique. What is unique about you? Find an adjective that best describes you as unique. 